These bamboo sticks are fixed together to form a bicycle frame using pieces of back cloth soaked in rubber. Craig Carfe, an American citizen, invented the frame 15 years ago. He trained these young people in Uruguay Division here in Kampala to assemble the bicycles. The bicycle was introduced in the country six months ago, and the first fully assembled unit was commissioned today. <laughs> We feel so happy, we as leaders, because we are, we are, we are, we are going to, to, to have more and more people uh, getting employment. The youth who are moving up and down, stoning, stoning, stoning police, burning tires around, they should come and join this. Our objective is that this person who has been riding should have an income from a respectable uh, job that he's doing, like uh, fabricating of frames for the bicycle. And even after he has retired, he should continue to make the bicycle frames, which can be taken to an international market. About 20 units have been assembled now, waiting for shipment to the North American exhibition soon. Kalfi explains the different parts of the piece. The, the bamboo is wrapped with uh, fiber. We are experimenting with bark cloth fiber that is soaked in epoxy. And here we have uh, a nice finish on it, which is an automotive quality polyurethane that makes it waterproof and weatherproof. The uh, frame has all the normal standard components of racing bicycles. So you can put standard parts on there of high quality or medium quality. This bicycle will cost about $2,500 approximately 6.6 .6 million shillings, and it can last over 15 years. However, for now, North America, Europe, and tour companies in Uganda are the target markets for these manufacturers. In the international market, the bicycle will go for $4,000, about 10.6 million shillings. In the near future, the group hopes to manufacture bicycles for the local market. The youth say they are ready for commercial production, but it's a laborious process since it takes about two weeks to assemble one bicycle. Sam Poza, NTV Tonight.